Hello, everyone. This is Dani, and I'm Ascension Coach with Twin Films Universe. And I'm going to be talking about this very juicy topic today, that is, why is he pulling away and why I'm chasing? Or I want to help you understand the reason why this dynamic happens with Twin Flames and, and, and how you can approach that and how you can heal this once and for all. If you are separated from your Twin Flame, then don't like give so much attention to that because the truth is that you are one with your twin flame and, and you are always in union in you know within you and you're just choices away healings away uh, healing away and from your manifesting your union so as long as you keep on the path as long as you keep choosing this life with your twin flame and as long as, long as you keep taking the steps that are necessary for you to you know, sustain your union, then don't worry where your journey is at on the outside. You and your twin flame, you both want love, right? So your twin flame wants to feel loved and you want to feel loved. And because you are not really getting that from each other, then this dynamic of of, of conflict kind of like takes over and and then suddenly there there is no way out. So the solution to that is that you place your attention on filling your own cup. You need to make sure that you are loving yourself, that you are taking care of yourself, that you are committed on, you know, healing yourself, that your journey is important to you, that your relationship with the divine, you know, with God, with yourself, that this is actually, you know, what you are prioritizing. Because union with your twin flame ultimately is a reflection of this union that you cultivate within you with yourself, with God. And this path is really about learning how to love, you know. I mean, sometimes we think that like, but I love you, you know, but I love this person or I love myself. But maybe, yes, of course, you know, you do. But maybe you are... Uh, repeating some actions or like maybe you're having some patterns that are not helping you to expand that love and so you that's when you have to like take a look you know like like reflect reflect on your life reflect on your journey reflect on your feelings you know do you feel in a loop if that's how you're feeling then you need to look at that you need to see why certain situations or why certain reactions or dynamics keep like keep kind of like going in circles that is like a the, the red flag that tells you that you need there is a change that you need to make a change and and and, and it's important and i understand that changing is not not an overnight thing because it requires discipline it requires commitment it requires all of your intention and, and 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 your and your desire to like actually change it's work right but it's necessary and it purifies you and it and it, at the end of the day once you kind of like pass the test you know once you apply when you change first of all you need to find what's the thing that's keeping you stuck if you don't know what that is, then how can you make a change, right? So you need to find what is this one thing, what's the core of this situation, of this dynamic with my twin flame, what's the core of this? So once you find that, you know, that clinch, then you can actually be aware of it and then accept it and then move on, right? Like, and then start making changes and, and, and with compassion because you'd need a lot of compassion for yourself in order for you to actually, you know, transcend, transcend and, and ascend. Because if you don't have compassion for yourself, you're going to easily judge yourself. And and you don't really want to fall into that judgment. You know, like you want to be able to support yourself in your journey and have compassion for yourself, knowing that you are learning, realizing that you need to change doesn't really make you a bad person. Uh, uh, that, and also, it doesn't mean that there's something wrong with you. Going through this process of changing and like, you know, reflecting and loving yourself, you cannot, loving yourself and, 
taking care of yourself, all of these means that you're filling your own cup. And so when you fill your own cup, it's way easier for you to communicate to your twin flame, talk to them, right? Express your feelings. And, and, and also it's way easier for you both to find a solution, to find, you know, to find a way to, you know, make peace, to, to compromise, to, yeah, to buy, you know, to, to have balance in, in your union. That balance is, is required. It is important because when you start grounding this balance, then you can feel better. You can, you are happier, you are more peaceful. And then, you know, because you are more peaceful, then you can have more cool experiences with your twin flame. And then you can also be in, in harmony. And then, you know, like you can have more success and all of these things in your life. Don't put your attention on the bad things that can happen or what's, you know, what's, what, you know, what the fear is telling you. This journey really requires you to change the, your perspective and to look at your situation or your relationship with the eyes of love, because that's the only way you're going to understand, you know, where are these glitches and how to overcome these, you know, the problems and how to overcome these dynamics of, oh, he's pulling away and I'm chasing or, or, or something like that. And so it, you know, when you make the choice, like I was saying, to see all of these things with the eyes of love, then it's way easier for you to understand yourself, understand your twin flame and, 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 and go deeper with love, unconditional love for you and for your twin flame. And and so, yeah, like, you know, have compassion for both of you as you are healing separation together because you are definitely together and you are learning together whether you are physically together or not. There is this process that's, you know, that, that's going on and, and you are walking the path together. What I want you guys to take away from this video is to find the glinch, you know, to find the root of the problem, the root of your the dynamic or what's the root of the issue, what's the root of what's going on with your twin flame. You know, you can always make the core choice to have a relationship with God because God will, will guide you every step of the way and God will help you, you know, will tell you, hey, like, you know, this is this is helpful, right? Like go here, do this, do that. But you, we have to really listen to God and we have to be humble enough to change, like I was saying before, and and to be willing to do whatever it takes in order for you to heal twin flame separation because harmonious twin flame union is for you and, and, and there is no doubt about it and it's you can have it too. Yeah, I think that with that being said, I want to invite you guys if you are new here and you are on your twin flame journey and if you want support i invite you guys to really go check on the free ascension course that we have and you can find the link below you can have great support here and there is also an entire community that is here to support you many tools coaches you're not alone so take a look of that glitch and I will see you guys in the next video. See you soon. Bye.